Hello. Hello. Is this thing on? I think we are. Why do they stick together like spiders? I don't know. Hello. Hi. Happy Sunday. We're back. We're in the Marinelli household and today, do I have something really, really saucy for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make the most simple, the most Italian carbonara you've ever had in your life. And honestly, it is the best. So stay tuned, we are going to be having some fun this evening and I'm up for something tasty. I've seen two recipes I really really like, one is um, Carluccio and the other one is Marco Pierre White. So I love both of them, I'm actually going to incorporate both techniques in the one and honestly this would be the best thing you've ever tasted and it's going to take you about 10 minutes to make because um, as soon as your pasta's done your sauce is going to be done and you're going to be ready to eat so i hope you're all having or have had a nice weekend or week as i mentioned yesterday i was a bit of a swamp demon um i just sat on the sofa and ate chinese i was quite happy with myself doing that but today I am fresh, um, clean, I have a new outfit, of which I quite like, um, and yeah, so week number two, I'm going to be teaching Italian. These are the ingredients this week, I've got three organic eggs, we're going to be using the egg yolks as the sauce, with a dash of cream, an oxo cube, mixed herbs, garlic, 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 no, <laughs> uh, olive, proper olive oil, and of course our spaghetti to make it. So really, really easy, simple recipe. I'm using cheddar cheese, but traditional Italians would use the hard uh, Parmesan cheese or Picornio cheese. Um, obviously, I'm a bit limited as to what we can get at the moment. Um, I'm just going to use mature cheddar and I'm sure that'll work just as fine. We're going to start by chopping our bacon. I've got smoked bacon because it tastes nicer. You can probably use unsmoked, which would be just as good. But um, before we go... I am using my apron again this time. Reason being is it's got pockets. We like it. Just gotta make sure I'm in. It's important. I almost can't do it, my. I've done it. I've done it. Ah. Oh. And. Oh. We're in. Just about. For bacon, the actual easiest thing to do is to just get your scissors and to snip. Just give it a snip. Snip it all round. You can snip it into big chunks, small chunks, however many chunks you like. All of the chunks will go in, obviously, and they'll just fry off in your olive oil, your garlic and your herbs. I am leaving the fat on the bacon because that is the best bit and that's the bit that's going to make it go really nice and crispy. Okay, so, of course, time to chop our garlic. I'm doing a late one tonight. Um, you might obviously realise that it's a different time of day, um, me filming today. I have had a lazy weekend, as I mentioned. I've just been a swamp demon. And then um, kept myself to myself, really. And it's been nice that way. It's been peaceful. So I first discovered this recipe a few months ago. And I've not done it since, and I absolutely loved it. Um, a close friend of mine found it, and we tried it. And honestly, I will never go back to making ridiculous creamy sauces for carbonara. I will always make it this way in future, because it is just so easy and so tasty. It's not, by any means, again, it's not a diet recipe, um, but it's quick and it's awesome. Right, so I've grated my cheese, I've chopped my garlic, and I've chopped my bacon. It is going to be time to fry off the bacon, but I'm first going to wait for my kettle to boil. 
because you kind of want your pasta ready at the same time as your bacon and everything. And I'm going to show you exactly how we make the sauce and how we're going to incorporate it. The trick with the sauce is we're using three egg yolks, a little bit of cheese and a splash of cream. This is the hard part because we don't want it to scramble. And I will show you just how to do that. Okay, so my kettle's boiled. Here we go with the water. My pan is on. I'm getting my pan hot and ready. Whilst I'm pouring my water, I am gonna chuck in a small glob of olive oil. Just in there. Okay. Now, Marco Pierre White is known for using Noor, because he's endorsed by Noor, but I do agree, a good stock cube actually does go a long way when it comes to sauces and recipes like this. I'm gonna be using OXO, not sponsored by OXO, I really wish I was because I'm pretty poor right now. But, I'm gonna mix this with a small bit of water. So whilst that is um, cooking and the bacon's browning, I would add it very slightly. You want the bacon in first, now that the pan is good and hot, you wanna get that in there. Put the garlic in last, because we don't wanna burn the garlic. That is good, that is off. And to be honest, we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it. I'm gonna chuck in some herbs. It has a chance to marinate along with the oil. A little bit of garlic salt. I will be adding some pepper. I'm going to add the pepper to the egg and the cream mixture. Ooh, they've got away, isn't it? Bugger. For this stock to your business, right, I've added a very tiny, tiny amount of water to a cup so that I can dissolve the stock cube, as you can see, and I can use it as part of the seasoning when I'm browning the bacon. So as that's doing nicely, I'm going to put in the pasta, about a good handful of pasta, whoops, it's just one in there. And then, good, we're just going to clean it, see how we go. Well, that's a good bit of pasta. Put in there. It's November! Right, so now I'm going to add my garlic. It's starting to brown a little bit. And the reason I added it to a little bit of water, you're thinking I'm next. You're actually right, yes I am. But, I don't want my garlic to burn. And I also don't want a powdery stock in there with my bacon. That's going to be... Any way I can describe it. I need to separate my egg. Right, so the technique that Marco Pierre White does is he puts the egg yolks in the bowl with the cream and then transfers everything else so that it doesn't scramble. So I'm going to try that this time because I didn't do that before. Um, Carluccio actually also adds a bit of cheese but he transfers it directly to the pan. I did the direct transfer to the pan that did actually scramble so I'd like to try it this way to see if I can improve the recipe myself. So, i cracking these babies and probably you know, it's going to be awful. Oh god. Help us. <gasps> That's one. Okay, these are organic eggs. I would really love to use farm eggs. Um, ideally, the fresher the eggs, the better it's going to be because you, you definitely need to use quality eggs for this, I would recommend, because the yolks are bigger, the yolks are juicier, so, as it's only me, I'm using three, but you can use as many oats as you see fit, oats, yolks. Use as many yolks as you see fit as to how creamy and sa saucy, oh god, okay, <gasps> too much talking. 
and obviously you can use the whites for an omelet. Just whisk the yolks and there's a tiny, I don't know what that is, take that out. There's only, you know, a small bit that's just going to coat your pasta, that's all you need. I'm going to add a small bit of cream, only a little sploosh, just to mix it in. I'm going to add some pepper, a little bit of black pepper, and herbs, and a small dash of olive oil. Now this is really good quality olive oil, so you do know by the taste, you can honestly, and I'm just going to mix all that together, and that is your carbonara right there. That's your sauce. You don't need anything else, you don't need any flour, you don't need to make a roux, you don't need any butter. I mean, you could use butter, that would actually taste quite nice, but I don't really see the point if you've used olive oil. But yeah. There we go. And it's there, it's ready. And what um, Antonio Carlicho did, as mentioned, so if you put a bit of cheese in there, I'm going to add a small, small bit of cheese to the mixture, otherwise it'll go, not too much, otherwise it'll go a bit gloopy when you put the hot pasta in, because it, you want it all to just blend together really nicely. So, we've got this. Okay. Now, the trick is, my pasta's still going, so I've taken my bacon off the heat now that it's crispy and when we finally do the pasta transfer, it's not going to be too hot that it all scrambles. Watch this recipe quite a few times and I have done it before, so this isn't a fluke one, not like last week, but um, I'm so hungry. Now, waiting for the pasta to cook, and I'm getting a bit bored, and I'm hungry, so we've got no other choice but to dance! I can't, I can't do, I can't, I can't do that. <sighs> So this is the pièce de résistance. Is that how you say it? I don't really know. <laughs> we just make it up as we go along. I'm putting the crispy bacon back on the heated bit of the stove, but I'm not turning on the heat again. I'm now gonna take my spaghetti from the thing with Duja, the thing with holes in. Duja my flip, that's it. We'll put it in here and we'll give it a mince about a bit. And then we'll do what Marco has done. Marquito, Marco, Marquito, Pierre, Blanco. That's why it's in front of It's hard not to make too much of a bloody mess, but you know, it's my house, so I don't really care. I'll do what I like. Uh, right. So we're just getting the crispy bits all in there with the herbs and the garlic, with the pasta. We're just marrying it all together, making it a lovely um, relationship. Yeah, bacon goes well with pasta anyway, I don't want to ask for them. We would have a dance when we, uh, when we do some cooking. Yes. That's terrible, that was like mum dance. The mum dance, and I'm not a mum. No, awful. I'll never do it again. And now, 
what we're going to do, moment of truth, I'm going to shove it in. No, we're not going to shove it in, we're just going to ease it, ease it in nicely. Okay, I'm going to give it a go around. We need to be quick with this, otherwise it will scramble. So I need to make sure this gets all over the pasta really nicely. So it makes, just makes the sauce awesome. And I think, by golly, we have absolutely got it. We've just smashed restaurant quality. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. Oh my God, so hungry. Hey babies, so as you can see, oh, nearly dropped you there. As you can see, my sauce, oh, look at that. It's absolutely perfect. So now I'm going to put it on a plate and make it look fancy. So I'm just finishing plating and I've been a bit naughty. I can confirm, this technique is much better than when the first time I made it. So I apologise to my friend because he said to use the Marco Pierre White recipe and use cream. I didn't, I didn't listen to him. But I've just done it now and it's lush. So here we are, dinner tonight. I am going to top it with a little bit of extra cheese, cheese mountain, just make it cheesy, creamy, lush. So there we have it, Marinelli's Carbonara. Now with this recipe I would actually recommend to add some broccoli and a little bit of chilli as well because it's actually the way that my mum likes to make it. It's her version of a carbonara. With, and I love it. So, um, it's so versatile and I can't wait to munch. Put Netflix on, get back under my blanket because tomorrow is another normal work day. Although I'm very grateful. Um, it's Monday. No one likes Monday, do they? this week I hope you have a lovely week ahead we've got so many things to look forward to when we come out of this so please stay safe and I will see you next week <laughs>